Hello, hello, and welcome back to the vlog channel. I'm actually starting this on a Tuesday because yesterday I literally forgot to bring my camera. I actually went up to help my sister with some uni work up in London. So it would have actually been a really interesting start to the vlog. So um, yeah, I'm sorry about that. And I just ran out of space on my phone, so I couldn't even vlog on there. So we're starting today on a Tuesday. We're starting the vlog on a Tuesday. But I do actually have a few things that I'm doing today. So I'm actually heading to town now. Literally, I'm starting the vlog the same way as I did last week. So I'm going to that cafe, you know, the ones which do like um, the hot chocolates with the massive marshmallows. I'm going there with a friend of mine, which I'm really, really excited about. I've not seen her in ages. So we're just going to have like a nice little social distance walk, socially distance. God, it sounds so weird saying that, isn't it? It's just like can't even, can't even get close to my friend, it's just sad, but very excited for a hot chocolate. The weather is beautiful today, it's the last sunny day, which is amazing. Um, well, actually, no, that's not amazing, is it, really? It's amazing that it's sunny today, but, like, the rest of the week is just rain, which is really depressing, to be honest. So, um, I'm just trying to make the most, I'm trying to get a lot of my steps in. Um, I'm just trying to make the most of the day basically, that's what I'm trying to say because I don't think I'm going to be able to leave the house for the next week and it's going to make me, make me really sad and oh anyway right I'm actually running a little bit late so I need to grab a coat and get out the house. So we've already eaten the marshmallows um, just because we're little pigs and we couldn't resist but the hot chocolates are actually boiling right now so I can't drink it yet. We just found a cute little spot in the park. I'm literally convinced this is exactly the same as what I did last week, but the sun is shining. It's so lovely today. Back in the car now with this absolutely terrible lighting. Let me turn off my engine a sec so you don't have to hear it. On my way to Tommy's now, because we're having like a little picnic cute moment. Um, although I'm still really thirsty. That hot chocolate did not fill the thirsty hole in my body. Oh my god, that sounded dreadful. You know what I mean. So I've got myself a Sal Pellegrino for the journey. I'm feeling really positive. I feel like that has to do with the fact that, like, I've booked a festival today. I booked Elro. I booked a festival last week. Like, I've, I've got summer plans. Like, seeing Emily, we were kind of talking about things that we're going to do in the summer. And I just feel really happy and very, very excited for it all. So, yeah, I'm in a really good mood to see Tommy. I actually can't wait to see him, to be honest. It's been so long because I didn't see him at the weekend because he was... Um, he, f he had a really weird, like, dodgy stomach. That boy has the worst immune system in the world. I'm not even joking. Um, so, sorry, Tommy, if you're watching this, but it's true. It's sad, but it's true. So, yeah, I'm going to head there now. It's probably going to take me about 45 minutes, which is fun. So, I've got myself my top dance hits playlist to have a little jam to because I feel like when the weather's like this and the sun is beating down, it's like, you know, it kind of gives you holiday vibes. So, I'm, I'm very excited. Um, but, yeah, I'll catch up with you on the walk oh my god just smashing my phone in the process love that and um yeah i'm just feeling really good this is such a nice happy start to the vlog here he is in his little hat so cute it's too big for him <laughs> um but we are just walking in some woods nice and interesting i don't really know where we are to be honest but we've got some food from waitrose like the classy classy people we are just kidding this is literally such a treat for us but um yeah, it's a lovely golden hour at the moment, so I think we're going to watch the sunset. Not wearing the really, um, the right shoes. I really can't speak today, but I'm wearing my nice trainers. What? Not really wearing nice shoes. Yeah, I don't know what just came out of my mouth then. Oh, God. I feel like I'm drunk, even though I'm not drunk, because I think I'm just still in such a good mood today. I've come into the house, and it's like a full-on studio here, because Hannah has got her uni call for her event got the lights currently cooking a pie so they've got like some chef that they've had um help them and he's done a video for this to make a potato and leek pie god it's all going down here the cats don't understand what's going on hello my little girl oh she's such a cutie beautiful and then we've got ollie here just hovering you love it when we're all here don't you bubby hello do i smell you smell like Tommy. God, right. Okay, I'm gonna let them get on with this because they're trying to listen to some instructions. So it's a little bit later in the evening now. I actually forgot to film it. I'm not gonna touch that because that's hot, but this is the pie. We've got some roasted veggies. Lovely, I actually personally don't like leek and potato pie, so I'm not gonna have this, but I did have some of the roasted veg and that was delicious. Well done, Hans. 
I need to tell you about a new series that I've been watching. I think I'm only on... Okay, I'm on episode five of the first season. It's called The Bold Type. I think it's new to Netflix, but I think it's obviously been around in the US since, if that's four seasons, so maybe like 2017. It is unreal. Like, I actually cannot begin to tell you how good this is. It's kind of like a mix between Sex and the City, um, Sex and the City kind of like Gossip Girl vibes, also, um, Oh my gosh, what was I talking about the other day? It's a mix. Oh, Devil Wears Prada. It's definitely got Devil Wears Prada vibes. And also, um, if you guys, I don't know if you'll remember this, but True Jackson VP that was on Nickelodeon, it's kind of like a mix between all of that. If you love fashion, you will absolutely love this series. It's so, so good. And I was actually looking because normally these kind of things don't have like a really high rating, but it's got like a rating of 94% on Rotten Tomatoes. So I feel like that means it is a big deal. But I'm going to watch this now. Head to sleep because I am feeling very, very tired and I will speak to you guys in the morning. Good morning and happy Wednesday from me and my new friend on my head. I don't know where this spot's come from, but it's kind of breaking my heart a little bit. Um, also, please don't judge my weird outfit. I'm about to go on a walk. Well, it is raining. We might just go for a hot chocolate and shelter somewhere. Um, but I'm going to go and meet Ella because we've got so much to catch up on. Like I, I know, obviously, I see her like twice a week, but... You know you just have those friends where you're like, we have to have a catch up twice a week, otherwise we miss out on so much. So that is the plan. I don't know what the time is now, but I'm pretty sure I was meant to leave, but I'm always late to hers. Um, I'm also trying to decide what to do in terms of my face. Like, I don't know whether to put a bit of makeup on to cover this. Like, I mean, I'm not really doing anything, but obviously I'm vlogging and I'm like, <laughs> I feel like I spend my entire vlog just being a catfish. I could go from this, and if you go back to like the last clips, I looked so much different because I had makeup on, but you know what? Whatever, we're embracing it, we're gonna embrace the spot, we're gonna let it breathe and have its moment. Actually, you know what I might do? I've got some spot patches, where are they? So I have these spot patches from a brand called Course. Course. I don't know how you say it, but they're like a Korean skincare brand, so I'm gonna try and see if these help in any way. I'm gonna leave it on all day and I'll report back um, and we can see. I'm, I'm not holding out much hope though, I can't lie. Oh gosh, I don't actually think I've really vlogged much today. I literally, I think I finished the last clip of me in my room and I'm back in my room. I didn't vlog anything with Ella because it was honestly raining the whole time. Like I got soaked, hence why I've got fresh hair and I've done my makeup because it was just so rainy. I don't know why we decided to go outside. Um, but I actually also remembered that I've got a life coaching call. I don't think I said this in the last clip, but I'm doing um, three rounds of life coaching with a lovely lady called Chantelle. Um, I literally have never done anything like this before. I've never, I, I mean, it's not really similar to therapy, but I guess it's on the same line. Like I've not done anything like it. So I'm kind of, I'm feeling nervous. It's in about half an hour. Well, I've just never done anything like it before, so I'm kind of like, oh gosh, like, <laughs> I, I don't know what to expect. I guess that like, my initial thoughts was like, oh, it's going to be kind of maybe about like, my business and my work, but I guess it probably can be about whatever I want it to be. So that's going to be really interesting. I hope it's going to be okay. It's about 45 minutes long, so it's quite a while, and I think I'm going to do one probably this Wednesday, next Wednesday, and then the Wednesday after that. Um, but yeah, I will come back and give you an update on all of that. But I thought, you know what, for the first call, I probably should have makeup on just so, you know, just so I'm not looking like a total slob. Um, obviously I know that that's just, you know, a weird complex that I have, but I just feel better with makeup on. Although, I've done my brows. I did it with a brow pencil today and I've been doing it with like this pen brush thing recently from Suku but I've used the Givenchy eyebrow pencil and it is really good but I feel like you can really tell the difference maybe it's just me I'm just looking in the viewfinder and these look really dark but maybe I'm just just being weird about it so um right I've also actually just realized I've got to get my YouTube video ready for half seven so this evening is going to be a little bit of a rush um, in terms of getting everything done but yeah I'm going to try and get it all done I've probably changed my outfit as well maybe I'll just take this hoodie off because I mean this is not really it's not really the vibe is it but yeah I'll tell you all about the call in the next clip oh feeling nervous oh my gosh so the call is done I just had my dinner I've also got myself a little passion fruit mochi because mum managed to get them again they've also bought lemon ones so I'm going to try one of them some point in the vlog to give you you know my opinion but 
The passion fruit ones are honestly the best, but they just take forever to defrost. I'm just gonna have to defrost it in my hand whilst I talk to you guys. Um, so the call was really good. It was, it was meant to be 45 minutes, but we were probably on call for about an hour. And it was just really, really nice to kind of have someone someone so external to like my life situation kind of talking talking to me because like they know nothing about my life like you know obviously she might have looked at my instagram but you don't you can't really get a strong perception of like what someone's about from from that probably not even from my vlogs really so today we kind of focused on like my inner self she basically said like you know i'm i feel like i'm quite indecisive at the moment and she was saying you know, if you're indecisive, like, where are you on the scale? One being, you know, you can't even decide what you want from Sainsbury's and like nine or 10 being like, I can make decisions so well, I'm really comfortable in my life. And I would say I'm probably like a three or four at the moment. Like, that's how indecisive I am. I can't even decide if I'm a three or a four, like probably a three. Um, <laughs> I just can't really make very many decisions. So um, she's actually gonna do me a Trello board tomorrow, which I'll show you guys where she's gonna kind of like, put different resources down to kind of like help me out and stuff. But yeah, it was a really good session. I think there's just so much for me to think about, so much for me to take away from it. One of the things that she suggested was like getting into a routine because, I mean, you guys have probably noticed from the vlogs like my life is kind of like here, there and everywhere, even though I'm not doing a huge amount. I'm, I just kind of, I'm letting life control me. Like if I've got a plan just thrown at me here, I'll like take the plan if I've, you know, or like if I haven't got so much to do that day, I will just, lie in bed for like longer so i think i'm gonna try and get some form of routine in my life i don't know how i'm gonna do it she also said about meditating let me know if you guys have ever meditated because it's one of those things like i want to do it but i'm kind of like i don't know how i really don't know how so i think i'm gonna do some youtube videos on that perhaps meditate first thing in the morning give myself like that 10 minutes to just kind of do that so i think that's probably what i'm gonna do so yeah my mochi is still still freezing so i can't eat it yet so yeah that's kind of how my call went i'm gonna take my makeup off in a sec i really just did makeup for the call but you know what i'm fine i'd rather do that than like be on there with no makeup because chantelle was so beautiful i am like thank god i was wearing makeup and um, also i've just noticed all this mess here oh gosh she probably saw that when i was oh god she probably looked at my room and was like yep yeah, you're a mess girl you i'm a mess no she probably didn't she was actually really lovely but um yeah, right, okay, game plan. I'm gonna write down my to-do list tomorrow. And we're gonna do the rest of this week correctly and do it with a bit of motivation and determination. By the way, guys, I thought I'd let you know the video that went live today. It's taken quite a while to actually sort it all out because it's my designer handbag collection 2021. So it's basically just like an updated version of last year's. Um, there are quite a few new bags, I'm not gonna lie. Like. I think the Chloe one is there, the Gucci and the YSL, which were all there last time. But I think most of the others are new. So do have a little watch if you want to, if you're not bored of my voice at the end of this video. I hope it does well. I actually posted, which kind of shocked me, this Shein lingerie haul. This has done really well. And I'm like, hmm, okay, interesting. So let me know what kind of videos you prefer because I don't know at this point. I really don't. So it's only half eight now, but I'm gonna try and get into that good practice of like having an early night, waking up early-ish. I'm not gonna wake up that early. I'll probably wake up at like eight. Um, I'm gonna try and get in good good practice for that. Um, I also need to work out what I'm gonna do tomorrow because like, I've got such patchy tan and I need to film a, um, what's it called? Oh, a lounge underwear haul. There's a lot of underwear videos going off my channel at the moment. I, I really don't know why, because my body is not ready for summer yet, but here we are. So I need to film that, and I don't know whether to fix... I don't even know how to begin fixing the tan situation, so I think what I might do is just cover it all up with foundation tomorrow and hope for the best. Um, God, these brows, I know like they're not that bad, but just looking at them in the viewfinder, I just think they look huge. Goodness gracious. Okay. On that bombshell, I'm gonna say goodnight and I'll see you guys in the morning. Wow, I really am the worst vlogger in the world. Also, sorry about the camera, it seems to be moving. Okay, there we go. Um, I did not vlog yesterday, so it's actually Friday today. I literally feel like I ended the vlog on Wednesday being like, oh yes, I'm feeling so positive. I'm really ready for tomorrow. And then 
yesterday came or tomorrow came and I was just like no this this is not the day but today is the day I'm feeling a lot better just mentally I'm just feeling I'm feeling good um it's just gone past well it's just past 12 which you know for me to have makeup on at this time I'm quite impressed by myself but I am going to do my lipstick or my lip combo and I thought I might as well do it on the vlog because I feel like this is really short and probably really quite boring so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the lip liner in toast from Barry M. I'm going to go in with Huda Beauty Wifey Liquid Matte Lipstick. And then I'm going to go over the top with the, um, what is this? The Givenchy Beauty La Rose Perfecto Liquid Balm. I used to really, really love matte lipstick. And like I feel like in 2016 it had its real moment. But now, I literally can't leave the house with just matte lipstick. I feel like it looks really weird. Um... I also, I booked my lips yesterday to get them redone. If you guys don't know, I had my lips done for the first time. It's like last August. And it's just changed. It's really made me feel a lot more confident. And I was kind of, I've been doing my lips over the last few days. And I was kind of like, oh god, they look really small. So I booked in for May. So I've still got a long way to go. But I'm very much looking forward to it. I can't talk and do my lips at the same time. So just give me one sec. I don't know if you can see, but I do kind of like overline my cupid's bow a little bit. I don't normally do this, but obviously because we're having a bit of a smaller lip moment, I just want to try and make them look as full as I possibly can. So, I mean, I, that's probably as far as I can go with the lip liner. Oh, that was a satisfying noise. Did you hear that? Oh, I love that, like, I can't do the noise, but it's like, I don't know. I can't make the noise, but like that nice, satisfying pop noise. Okay, so we're going to go in now with the matte lipstick. I don't, I'm not really too precious about this because I feel like the gloss kind of brings everything together. I just try and fill in any gaps that I've missed with the lip liner. I used to really love this colour as well, but I don't know. How do you feel about the colour of this? Maybe I'm overthinking it. Okay, there we go. So that is the matte lipstick done. And then we're going to go over the top with the gloss i am obsessed with this i feel like it's probably nearly running out because i use it pretty much every single day like every time i do makeup maybe minus 10 times since i got this i've used this every single time it is unreal and it's the most perfect color but it's definitely it's definitely gonna run out soon it's just gonna break my heart okay there we go lips all done my hair is done it's looking a little bit frizzy though i don't really know why because it never normally looks like this ever since i did that smoothing treatment a couple weeks ago my hair has literally been amazing but i think maybe today it was just like you know what i'm not gonna play i'm not playing around or it is playing around actually that is exactly what it's doing so let's just smooth that down i've actually gone in with the olaplex number seven bonding oil which is absolutely incredible i love this product it makes my hair just look and feel so healthy and just nice. I feel like Olaplex has literally changed my hair because I've had quite a few comments, maybe probably not from like you guys, but from like family and friends being like, your hair has grown so much because this time last year, I think my hair was maybe about this length. Like it really wasn't very long at all. And it's just grown so much. And I'm really happy about that because I look at pictures when I had like my mid length hair. And I mean, it was okay, but I look back at pictures and I'm like, God, I really I'm I don't think that was the right that was the right choice for me at the time but you know what I've done it I've had shorter hair and I know that longer hair is just for me at the moment and also I don't know why it looks really blonde thank god because honestly it's so dark underneath if I haven't even booked my hair appointment for post lockdown so probably right at the back of the queue so it'll probably be, it'll probably be like June so I've got to embrace the brown for a bit longer but i'm kind of here for it okay so i've got to film two videos i've got to film a lounge underwear haul um so i've done a little fresh tan for that don't know oh the hands aren't really looking great on camera but we'll try and fix that and then i'm also filming a what's new in my wardrobe video so i need to go ahead and do that because this evening i'm meeting tommy i probably will end the vlog before that to be fair but i'm meeting tommy this evening because it's our anniversary on wednesday three years omg really long time so we're just going to get like a little tie and hopefully it'll be dry. We'll have to like shelter somewhere, I don't know. But I'm looking forward to that as long as it does stay dry. But yeah, I'm going to get on with my day. I'm going to stop rambling and I will catch up with you guys later on.
Ooh, okay, so that is all the videos filmed. That literally took way longer than I thought. I was meant to leave for Tommy's, well, a minute ago. So uh, that's going well. I literally am so sorry about how crap this vlog is. I know it's been so boring. Next week, I'm hoping that I'll be able to kind of step it up a little bit. I've got hair on my face. Um, yeah, I'm hoping I'll be able to step it up next week. I'm so sorry. I'm literally going to end the vlog here because I really do need to rush. Um, but thank you for watching if you have got to this point. Um, here's hoping, you know, the weather picks up next week. We can get some interesting stuff filmed. Um, I have got some really cool videos going up over on my main channel. So if you guys... Um, do want to watch more of me or you're bored of this vlog and you're like no I can't watch this girl just talk at camera all day then you can go watch my main channel because I've got some stuff on there but yeah I'm really really sorry again that I missed out on two days this week I literally seriously slacked but next week will be the one so um yeah I'll see you guys I'll see you guys next week bye